Fifth grade, lesson 25. This is on listing the factors of whole numbers. Okay. A whole number is just a number that makes up a whole piece. So two holes would be two hands. So I'm saying two whole hands. Okay. So let's look at this. If I'm asking you to list the factors of 20, that's my question. Okay. Or my the problem. List the factors of 20. All right. What this is asking you, do you remember what a factor is? Uh, the... It's been a while. Like, the number? It's the number of a... Division problem? Multiplication problem. Oh. So, good job, though. You, you, that was a good um, thought. Okay, the answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. You remember that? You'll continue to learn that, okay? These are the factors. Okay, so if I tell you to list the factors of 20, what I'm asking you is to go, tell me what times what equals 20. What are some factors? What are the numbers that when you multiply them together equal 20? Another way you could do that is to use division, which was a big thought a while ago, because basically I'm saying what times what. Remember, what times what is the same thing? as this is the same thing as this. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So for example, I'm gonna give you one just starting off. Four times five. Is that equal 20? Yes. Yeah, okay, so four times what? Five, okay? So, so far we've discovered that four is a factor and five is a factor. Guess what else is always a factor? The number itself and 1. Because 20 times 1 is 20. Okay? So the number itself times 1. So it would basically look like this. 20 goes into 20 one time. 20 times 1 equals 20. Right? So, so far we've got 1, 4, 5, and 20. I'm just putting them in, in um, order from 1 to 20, okay, 1 to 100 or whatever, okay? See that? Can you think of anything else that equals 20? What times what? Times? There's one more. Two, two more numbers, one more factor. Um, I don't know. Two? Times 10? 10, very good. Two times 10 equals 20. 2 times 10 equals 20. So what that looks like is 2 times 10 right here, like that, okay? So if I were to put those numbers into the problem, that would look like this, okay? So basically, when I get all my numbers together, these are the factors of 20. Do you see? One. 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Those are the factor of 20. Do you get it? Uh-huh. Do you understand it? Yes. Okay. The, why did I write them in order? Just because it helps me to be able to see all the numbers that are factors of, of 20 in a, in a range that's understandable to the brain. Okay? So I put them in order. Okay? Because I don't like to jump around. 20, 5, 4, 2, 1. You see what I'm saying? You want them all to be in order. Okay, let's try another number. Uh, let's find the factors of, tell me a number, throw, throw out a number. Eight. Eight. Okay, what are the factors of eight? What I'm asking you is this, Eli. What times what equals eight? What are the factors that we could use to equal eight? Um... I don't know. It's always easy just to start with 1 and then move up. So 1, one times, times what eight. equals 8? Eight. 8. 1 times 8 equals 8. So I'm going to put 1 and 8 down here. Okay? Does 2 times something equals something? 2 times 4. Mm -hmm. Okay? So 2 and 4 come down here. Does 3 times something equal 8? Nope. 4 times something equal 8? Yes, 4 and 2, which we've already got. Five times something equal eight? Mm -mm. Five, six times something? No. Nope. Seven times something? No. Nope. Eight times something? Eight times one, which we already got. 
So the factors of eight are one, two, four, and eight. Feel like you understand it? Yep. Okay, let's do one more. Factors of 24. Okay, tell me what the factors of 24 would be. Um, four, Wait, start with one. six. Remember? Start with uh, one, it's, but four and six is good. Okay, so let's start with one. One and 24. One and 24, I'm gonna put them down here. One, 24. I put a big space so that way I can fill in more numbers. See that? Uh -huh. Okay. Is two in something? Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Take half of the number. Very good. Two times twelve? Two. Twelve. Good. Does three times something? Um. It actually does. So think. Eight. Eight times three. Very good. Three and eight. Very good. Does four and something? Let's start with four. You four gave me this a while ago. Four and six. Four and six. Good job. Okay. And six. Kind of ran out of room at the end. Okay. And that's all of them. So it has a, a several, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, and twenty-four. Okay. So those are all the factors of twenty-four. You understand it? Yeah. All right, but sometimes you're going to get a, a problem like this. Hmm. So let's start with one. One and 23. One and 23. And guess what? That's it. Hmm. Two times something does it. Three times something does it. Four times something. You can go on and on and on. You'll actually learn this is well, this is one of those numbers, and it's actually called a prime number because only one in itself can be a factor. You'll learn about prime numbers later. But this is an example of a prime number because there's not any more factors other than one in itself. You understand? Yep. Okay. That is lesson 25.